everybody. Welcome back to Elementary Read Aloud. I'm Miss Amanda with the Bexley Public Library. Now, all of our read alouds this month are going to be for Native American Heritage Month. And that means that we'll be reading about Native American characters, Native American stories, or just about the different types of communities that exist here in the US. And so it's going to be a very exciting. We've got some really good books. In fact, today's is my very favorite that is on our new bookshelf. We have Pow Wow Day, and this is written by Tracy Sorrell, and it's illustrated by Madeline Goodnight. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, what is a powwow? And so this book has you covered. The very last page has all sorts of information about the things that we'll read about in the book, including what powwows are. So let's see what the book has to say. It says, powwows are celebrations of dance, song, culture, and community mostly originating from the warrior societies of the Ponca and Omaha tribes on the northern and southern plains of North America. Native nations, universities, and nonprofits across the United States and Canada host powwows year-round. They last from one to four days and are held outdoors as well as inside large gymnasiums or meeting spaces. Some powwows feature competitions like the one in this story where dancers compete for cash prizes. Others are traditional. Some are held to honor a specific person, celebrate special events like graduations, or to provide a service such as health screenings for attendees. Everyone is welcome at a powwow and is expected to follow the event etiquette. All right, so we're going to find out all about this celebration, this community event, and we'll read a little bit more about it here in the book. So I'm very excited. Oh. Though one thing to note, we actually see here on this first page that we have a special uh, dress. And so if we look closely down here at the bottom, we can see that this dress has little like bells, little cones here on the bottom. And that means that this is a jingle dress. So when the dancer dances, those little cones, those little bells will jingle as they dance. So I wonder who wears this jingle dance dress? We'll have to find out. All right. River, wake up, Amber whispers. My eyes open. Today is powwow day. Oh, so our main character is getting ready to go to the powwow. But then I remember, no dancing, no jingle dress competition for me. Not at this tribal powwow. I wish my hair weren't so short, I sigh. Mama lays out the moccasins that match my dress but everyone wants to see you, Amber reminds me. Why? I can't dance like I could before I got sick. But you will dance again, she responds. So it sounds like our main character has either been sick recently or has been sick for kind of a long time. And that means that she can't really do any of the dancing that she used to do. We'll have to see if she can find some other way to connect with the powwow. I stay silent as daddy drives us to the powwow grounds. I usually savor the sense of sage and sweetgrass, two important plants to some Native American tribes, uh, but not today. The breeze prickles my skin. I'm tired already. Daddy arranges our chairs near the family drum. Mom squeezes me close. Doing okay? I nod, but I'm not. I watch my friend Dawn get ready to dance. No, I'm not okay. And then the powwow begins as the MC calls. Time for grand entry. Stand up. Gentlemen, remove your hats. My uncles strike a large drum together. Bam, 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 bam. They sing. A ya, a ya, way ya, ya. And I make a decision. At least I can dance for grand entry. You sure? Amber asks. Yep. Grandpa leads with the eagle staff. Other warriors carry flags into the arena. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Elders head up the long line, oldest to youngest, traditional, fancy, grass, and jingle dress. So there's lots of different kinds of dresses and probably lots of different kinds of dances. Dawn squeezes my hand as we wait with Amber and the other girls to dance into the arena. My feet stay still. I can't feel the drum's heartbeat. Amber grabs my arm. You okay? 
She leads me back to our seats. Everyone dances in and moves around the circle, all connected to the drum, Mother Earth, and one another. Everyone. Amber, Dawn, our cousins, our friends, everyone but me. I watch through wet eyes. After grand entry, an elder prays that our dances honor the creator, that our culture and language will stay strong, and that healing will come to those who need it, like me. I rise to join the intertribal dance, but I can't focus. Mama's steady hand guides me into my seat. The drum's heartbeat surrounds me. Bam, 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 bam. I lean against daddy and watch the competitions. Traditional dancers move and draw me into their story. Fancy dancers twirl and ribbons whirl. Graceful grass dancers sway and weave themselves around the circle and the drum starts its beat inside me. Oh, she's connecting to the drum's heartbeat. And then the MC calls, girls jingle dress, head to the arena. For a second, my heart leaps, but I can't do the healing dance today, even though I need it. Dawn says that she'll dance for me. My heart swells as I see Dawn, my sis, our cousins and friends step and turn graceful and fast. Their feather fans wave, rows of cones clink, clink, clink on their dresses. I sit up tall as they come close. Judges move around the powwow arena and record and woo, record scores. But the girls don't dance for the judges. They dance for the creator, the ancestors, their families, and everyone's health, including mine. But um, but um, but um, but um. I stand. I open my heart. I feel the drum fully now, and then I know. I will join them at the next powwow. I will dance again. Oh my goodness, check out how beautiful this page is. Everybody's beautiful powwow attire, all the jingle dresses, all the different colors. This is a beautiful page and a really good illustration of how to draw all sorts of people in unique ways. None of our friends here look exactly alike. That's really good character design. And that, my friends, is the end of our book. Our last page is more information about all of the things that we read about today. So there's information about the arena and about grand entry, which by the way, this says that this occurs, grand entry, when all dancers process into the arena by age and style of dance regalia, the traditional outfit and accessories. So the audience is, ex is expected to stand and men are expected to remove their hats, just like we read in the book. And we see some illustrations of the jingle dress. We see some of the drums. Now I'm not gonna read out everything here on this last page to you, but this book will be available for checkout in our Native American Heritage Display. So feel free to check this book out and read all about all the cool stuff that we read about today. And that my friends brings us to the end of our elementary read aloud. It's been super lovely reading with you guys today. And uh, well, Hope to see you guys again next week. We'll be reading some more stories about Native American Heritage Month. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.